Hello everyone, it's Maria here from Pebbly Rose Paper Crafting. I'm from Sydney, Australia. Welcome to my channel and um, today I'm going to do a video of a different kind. Um, over the weekend that had just passed, I uh, went to um, a craft store, uh, a bricks and mortar store, which is highly unusual for me. But I went in and had a look and I had been eyeing lawn fawn products for quite a while. And um, in particular, I really love the Reveal Wheel. I think it's a, a lovely, innovative uh, set. And uh, in all of the stores online, they are completely sold out. And I happened to see this in store. So I could not help myself and I grabbed one. <laughs> um, I really love this Lawn Fawn Reveal Wheel. And I'm going to be showing you a card with this. And um, it, the reveal wheel also has add-ons. It has a speech bubble add-on, which you can add on and make a window. And then you turn the wheel and it reveals um, lovely sentiments, which coordinates with this set. And this set has windows that coordinate with the speech bubble. And also it comes with the window that looks like that. Um, throughout this video, I will be showing you how to make a card with this. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the speech bubble or not, but I just wanted to show you like a mini haul of my recent, um, yeah, uh, I, I, I'm quite stoked actually that I got something a little different. And I also picked up this really cute Hey There uh, stamp set from Lawn Fawn. And I love the farm animals and the cute barn. And I love the piggy and the cow and the sheep. Love the sentiments on this, it is so adorable. And I also love their, uh, they've got matching dies for every one of these images, which is fantastic. So I am thrilled to be um, making something a little different than my usual. Um, and this is something that's been weighing heavily on me, I have to admit, um, these last few months or so. Um, creatively, I have stagnated and uh, I feel that as a you know as an artist and as a creator of cards and things it's a good idea um, to kind of branch my creative horizons a little bit so um, when I came across with uh, these I, I really had to make something with it and I got very excited and creatively that's very important for me so yes I'm going to branch out <laughs> and I'm going to be making a card that is completely uh, different to my usual and I have to say I really really enjoy it. Now for the rest of this video I'm actually going to speed it up uh, because it's going to be quite a long video but I'm going to show you the process step by step albeit it will be a little bit fast and any other product I will uh, probably just put it up on a caption up there somewhere and let you know what I'm using so you're aware. Um, so basically it will be sped up and I'll be doing a voiceover explaining everything that I'm doing. So without further ado, I will come back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut apart all these dies because they um, you can snap them off or you can snip them off. So I'm just going to cut these all apart. I will come back and then we'll get started on the card. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, so I've just got my uh, Big Shot now and I'm putting in some Blushing Bride cardstock. That's from Stampin' Up. And I'm going to be cutting out that Reveal Wheel um, area there twice. Uh, it's not an area, it's the actual panel. And I'm showing you as well that they coordinate uh, along with that little, it's like a jigsaw puzzle piece. I'm just start sticking that on there with a bit of... Um, washi tape or painters tape and I'm cutting it out with that as well so that comes on afterwards so there's one without and one with that's cut out and um, I'm, I'm going to also cut out with some whisper white cardstock from Stampin Up uh, the two wheels that come with that reveal wheel uh, set and uh, I'm just cutting that now with my big shot this is a very unusual thing for me to do because <laughs> um, I've never done voiceovers before so I hope this works out I'm just getting my Tim Holtz uh, stamp platform and I'm going to get out the hey there stamp set with a um, with some cardstock again and I'm just laying out all of those animal stamps and I'm just laying them out to make sure that they all stamp on the same page but also I'm able to cut them out later on so You'll see me here struggling. <laughs> I'm just inking that up with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And um, 
I'm going to stamp it on there, but it doesn't work out 100%, so I'm going to do it again. <laughs> and um, I didn't um, have it in the corner properly, so I end up double stamping. So I'm turning it over and starting it again, and you will see me do this uh, a couple more times, so I'm afraid. Um, and it doesn't quite work out again, so that was pretty annoying. But anyway, you'll see me struggling through that. But I'm so glad that I have that platform because um, it just makes life easy. So I'm doing it again. <laughs> and I think this time it'll be okay and I'll do it one more time and I may have to do it again I don't remember <laughs> it's, it's sped up so fast because this video was going to take an hour and a half believe you and um, that's a long time so I think yeah I have to bring in my little foam sheet because some not all stamp sets are created equal and uh, with the Tim Holtz stamp platform I do need to have a little piece of foam underneath and yep yeah, I've done it <laughs> gave me the thumbs up so I'm just giving it a bit of a clean and I wish I could work that fast goodness <laughs> so I'm just uh, giving that a quick clean and I'm going to put the stamp platform away and then I'm going to bring in the reveal wheel now um, with the reveal wheel I'm just going to cut into not cut in but I'm going to mark a 12 6 3 and 9 o'clock on that and it's in between some it's got like an embossed bit but I'm going to get a brad I'm going to stick that on top there and then I'm going to get some foam tape and I'm going to cut it and put it around the bottom of that little circle but not where the brad is so I have to keep make sure that that's free and then I'm just going to position my wheel where the um, so so that the the embossed parts are not revealed like they're just showing away from the area there so I'm using my st uh, stamp platform as a way to kind of line up my two pieces there to make sure that they're flush um, and so Yep, so now I can uh, spin that wheel, which is great. And then with my markings with the 12, the 3, the 6 and the 9, I'm going to uh, trace around so that you could see the window. So then I'm going to take off that wheel and then I'm going to get my stamps that coordinate with the reveal wheel stamp set. And I'm going to use all these different sentiments and they'll be stamped with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And that's just as a guide. So if you want to see a video to this I'll link it below um, and that video will show you in the exact way of um, how to position that wheel but it's pretty easy um, and the reason why I'm spinning through this is as I said this is an hour and a half's worth and I've condensed it down to 23 minutes <laughs> so it's pretty good so I've stamped all of the sentiments the terrific awesome amazing and fabulous and I'm just cleaning my stamp there and the other stuff there and then I'm just going to um, rub out all of those uh, pencil pieces, those pencils markings. Gosh, I can't speak. I'm so sorry, regardless of whether I'm narrating this or not. <laughs> so I'm just giving it a quick rub. I wish I could work that fast as well. Jeez. Okay, so I'm just going to put the wheel back on and um, open up the prongs. And then I'm going to add some... Yep, so there you go you can spin that right around and it looks awesome with that I'm going to get an old retired stamp set uh, background stamp and it's just wood grain so you can use any wood grain stamp set you may have and I'm using um, Versamark and I'm just putting my embossing buddy over the top and I'm just going to stamp it and I like putting a piece of paper and rubbing my hands over that and it gives a nice accurate stamping then I'm going to grab my white emboss powder and I'm going to just start uh, put the powder all over the panel there and then I'm going to emboss that off camera now I'm back and I've just uh, completely embossed that heat embossed it so I'm going to add some foam tape and I'm using some micro tip uh, non-stick scissors which is fabulous and I'm just putting my foam tape on there and make sure whatever you use on the bottom of your reveal wheel you use the same um, dimensional adhesive as well so make sure that it all matches otherwise it won't work very well and I like to put a little bit of reinforcement around the wheel since it will get a bit of a workout and I'm just cutting that down to size I'm going to take off those backings and 
yeah, fun. Struggled with that a little bit, so I ended up getting my scissors to help me take off the backings because I don't have very long nails. So I'm just taking all of the backings off. And now I'm going to bring back my stamp platform so that I can line up the two panels to make sure that they're flush again. And I struggled with that a little bit in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> but it, I will get it there and it works and it's beautiful. Okay, so with uh, I'm just cleaning my stamp. <laughs> and I'm just getting a white card base. And I'm just burnishing the score line that I had previously done. And then I'm going to stick my uh, reveal wheel panel there on the top of the card i'm just keeping the background a bit plain but i really love that wood grain background it looks fabulous okay so now i've got some black cardstock and i'm going to be using have a really birthday and i'm going to position that on the bottom of my stamp platform and i struggle with it because it because it's a brand new stamp set they tend to be sticky and uh, no matter how much I try, I don't get them straight. <laughs> so you'll see me struggling there a little bit. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat emboss that. I'm using pencils, anything I can find to stop it from sticking, but it still sticks anyway. <laughs> so I give up after a while, I think. Um, now I keep trying. I keep trying. <laughs> and yeah, it was a bit hard. So now I'm going to use the platform. And I'm going to get my embossing buddy and I'm going to use my Versamark ink pad and I'm going to stamp it. And now I'm going to get my white emboss powder and I'm going to heat emboss that. And I'll be heat embossing that off camera and I'll be back. So now it's all done. I'm going to give my stamps a clean, take them off the platform. And I'm going to now get my watercolor pencils, which I haven't used for ages. I love them. And I'm using just Whisper White cardstock and I'm just using like a yellow pencil there. And I'm just doing a rough color. So you'll see me just coloring that really roughly. And that's with black spots there and on the tail and on the hooves as well. And then I'm going to use a pink, like a fleshy color just for the nose area there. And then I'm using an orange for the feet and the beaks of those two little chickens and a red for that top part of the chicken. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Then I'm using a grey and I'm just going to colour it around the perimeter of the sheep. And then I'm going to use a black pencil, again watercolour pencil. And I'm using a fleshy coloured one there for the face. And for the pig, it's going to be a cool pink one. So it's just rough because I'm going to be using the uh, blender pen to uh, make that all... Uh, blend in nicely so I'm just using a couple of browns like a caramel brown there or a slightly darker brown all over the face and then um, I'm going to color the mane and the tails with a more caramel brown color so I'm just coloring that in very roughly just to get good coverage and then for the nose area just a different brown and then for the goat there I've got a black an orange for the um, I don't know what those horns and then I'm going to color it in a gray color and so now I'm going to grab my blender pen and I will be doing a close-up shortly and hopefully I'm not off camera but you'll see that's just quick coloring in so it blends it in really nicely so I'm doing one color at a time so I'm sorry if I'm off camera there and I realize that and I'm very very sorry and then I'm just going to do all the black bits from all the other animals with their hooves so you get the idea and then just scribble that off. I'm going to go back out again and then I'm just going to colour in all of those other fleshy parts. And then I just go right around the sheep with that grey and just blend it out. And um, I have to say I had a lot of fun doing this. It was a lot of fun using my watercolour pencils again. I want to get Copics. But uh, right now my budget does not allow for Copics. But um, if you have a blender pen and some watercolour pencils, you can get a very similar effect without the, the big budget um, fallout from getting Copics and so forth. So I'm giving you a close up there to have a look. And now I'm just going to colour in the pig. Just giving it a nice blend out. And 
just blending all of the horse colors right out so I do one color at a time I'm just blending it out yeah I have to say that was a lot of fun I haven't done this kind of crafting for a little while and um, I have to say I really really enjoy it it's loads of fun and so now I'm just scribbling that off sorry about my um, thing freezing there I don't know why but I can't help that right now it's the way it processed which is very annoying but I do blend that all out and then all of a sudden you'll see me stopping that blending so it blends out very nicely and hopefully this will uh, continue on so there you go very sorry about this okay so it's blended out all nicely so now I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to do like an outline around the sides to do a little bit of shadowing and I will show you a close-up there we go and I'm doing the same so as you can see I'm just doing a dark perimeter there just to give some shading and then I'm just going to blend that all out make the color a little bit more intense as well and it just gives a nice shade so I like how that turned okay so I'm still continuing to color in um, all of my little animals and um, I've had to redo this narration because um, it was out of sync for some reason when I was uh, narrating it the first time so I'm still providing that shading right around the animal there and yeah, and then I'm going to blend it out with my blender pen and I have to say it looks really cool it looks very similar to Copic's in terms of finish so I'm really happy with that now I'm going to grab the matching dies and I'm going to be using some painters tape and you'll see my camera falling <laughs> the camera falls down and then I, th I think it falls down at this point I'm not sure but I'm yeah I'm putting on all of those um, dies with my painters tape so you'll see me doing that And sorry about the sirens in the background <laughs> I just love it I can't get quite around here <laughs> it's shocking all right now I'm going to put the goats uh, framelit on the die and I'm going to get out some painters tape and I'm going to run that through the big shot and my camera's falling down constantly I don't know why <laughs> it's shocking now I'm going to put that through the big shot I'm just going to cut that all out and it cut out beautifully I have to say so now I'm just going to get rid of my cuts and they cut so beautifully the border around it is just fantastic just beautiful and they they blended really nicely together if you head on to my blog at Peppley Rose Dot blogspot.com.au you will see a close-up of all the animals and the coloring and I was really impressed with um, the watercolor pencil so now I'm just cutting up the sentiment to size and uh, I'm using like so it looks like a labeler effect so I, I like the way that turned out actually so now I'm going to stick that down and then I've got a piece of uh, whisper white cardstock coming up and it's around three and a quarter by three and a quarter roughly but then I do trim it down so um, I'm going to use my framelits and it's the second largest one I think I'm not sure so anyway I'm just going to cut out a square there did I call them circle framelits I'm sorry if I did <laughs> now I'm going to put that through my big shot and that will be it with the big shot I think for now yeah so I'm just going to just get an idea of how I want that laid out on my card but I've realized it's a little bit too big so I'm just going to trim that down with my trimmer and I'm just fiddling around with it just to make sure that it fits in and it doesn't um, impede the uh, reveal wheel part the wheel part and I think I've got it to size now in a second and I think we're done and yep we're done now so it turned out good and there's a square that cuts out there so what I'm doing now is I'm going to grab a blue uh, watercolor pencil I'm grabbing my uh, blender pen and I'm just going to blend that out as much as I can but when you'll see the end result you don't actually see that part at all <laughs> so yeah 
so anyway I'm just blending that out with my blender pen as much as I can and still blending 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 and I scribble that off and then I'm just going to grab the uh, from the herd sentiment from the hey there stamp set and I'm going to use my platform again and I'm going to stamp that down the bottom there so it looks like a Polaroid camera that's uh, it's not, not a camera a photo so that's the look I'm going for there and I'm just going to ink that up in memento tuxedo black and that turned out perfect and what I love about the lawn fawn stamp sets and sentiments is they're all the same font so you can mix and match all of your stamp sets so I find that amazing I just love that that you can mix and match your sentiments because the uh, fonts look almost the same so I'm really really pleased with that I, I'm just stoked with this so I'm just laying out all those little animals there and just getting a feel of how I want them positioned and I like that layout I have to say and it looks fabulous with that frame so I'm just going to stick that all down now with some glue I like using inexpensive PVA glue does the job and it is so strong so that's what I do so I'm just putting that there now and I'm just laying that out and after I finish putting this all together um, I what I did um, off camera was I colored around the the sheep and the um, the cow and I've re um, re blended some blue pen uh, pencil there and then down the bottom because I look like they were up in the air I ended up um, scribbling on some green um, down the bottom there so they look like they're stepping on the on the grass so yeah I'm just now just putting on some foam tape and I'm just trimming that up and with my non-stick scissors which are fabulous I love them I just trim off all of the sticky parts so yeah just make sure it's nice and even now I'm going to take off the backings and I'm going to now put it onto the front of the card and I'll just trim off a bit more there put it onto the card and then I'm going to grab my middle panel there and I'm just going to stick that down with some glue and position that right in the middle of that and uh, yeah I love the way that turned out and I hope you did too and um, now I'm just going to I was thinking of using the little die with the arrow or the sentiment that says turn me with an arrow so I'm going to end up using that and I'm going to now stamp that with memento tuxedo black ink so that's all done okay and that is now my finished card um, I hope you enjoyed it so I just um, yeah it took me a while to kind of um, come up with this but I hope you like it and that just says turn me so you can turn the wheel so it says have a really fabulous terrific amazing awesome birthday so I hope you like this card. It's a very simple um, card. Um, it is a little bit of work, but it is so worth it. I had so much fun making this card, and I hope you did too. And I'm sorry about the bloopers uh, throughout the video. But um, thank you all so much for watching. And um, I hope you um, give these uh, Lawn Fawn um, stamps and dies a go, because they are just so much fun. Take care, everyone, and I will see you again really soon. Bye.